Jesus doesn't only teach in synagogues. Sometimes he likes to get away from the crowd and teach only his disciples. In the reading we have today, Jesus takes his disciples into the hills. And like all rabbis, he sits down to teach them. And his disciples gather around him to listen. My focus for this morning is on Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. This verse forms a part of the Sermon on the Mount, which we found in Matthew chapter 5 through to Matthew chapter 7, where Jesus is teaching his disciples about the kingdom of God and what it means to be his disciple. As followers of Christ, you have been called to be salt of the earth and light of the world in a world that is often dark and in need of cleansing today i'll be speaking about the importance of being salt of the earth the dangers of losing our saltiness and the call to be the light of the world salt has been used throughout history as a preservative purifying agent and in the same way Christians are called to preserve and purify the world through our faith and actions Jesus is comparing you and I to salt and as salt bring out the best in food Christians are called to bring out the best in their families in their communities and in the world you must be a positive influence in your community, extending love, kindness, and giving hope wherever you go. In Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6, we are encouraged to be wise in the way we act towards others. As Christians, your conversations must be pleasant, encouraging, kind, and gracious worthy of being identified with Christ. The dangers of losing our saltiness. There are many reasons why Christians may lose their saltiness. The most common one is complacency. You become so comfortable in your faith and stop growing and maturing in your relationship with God. Another cause of losing our saltiness is falling away from our faith due to hardship, temptations, and distractions. When you lose your saltiness, you lose the unique quality that makes you an effective Christian in the world. Not only that, you also lose the passion and devotion that you have for God and His kingdom. When you lose your saltiness, you become ineffective in bringing life and hope to a world that needs it. Your light goes dim and you are no longer able to make positive impact in the life of others. The call to be light in the world. Being the light of the world as a Christian means being the reflection of God's love and grace to those around us. Shining the light of hope and truth in the world that is often dark and despairing. You are to be a shining example of what it means to live life of faith, hope, and love. The light of Jesus in us means we are to bring hope and guidance and direction to those who are in darkness. To be the light of the world is a challenging calling for all Christians. It requires you to be intentional in your faith and to be active in your communities, to be a shining example of what it means to live the life of love and service to others. My dear friends, we are called to be salt and light. It is our responsibility to be a positive influence in our families, our communities, 
sharing the love, hope, and kindness of God wherever we go. We must remain vigilant in our faith and endeavor to live in a way that reflects the light and truth of God. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let your light shine therefore so that others may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Amen. Amen.